Hi all, welcome to Parker's Reef and uh, thanks for joining us for another quick review. Today we're doing uh, two products, both from Aquaforest. First being Aquaforest Frag Rocks and uh, the second being their Aquaforest Poly Glue. Um, we're gonna use this glue to frag a um, piece of Dallas and glue it onto one of these huge rocks. So uh, watch along and see how we go. All right, so when we open up the uh, Aquaforest Poly Glue, which is granted a little bit difficult to do one-handed, you'll see there's all these, um, let me just pan down a little bit, all these uh, little pallets uh, in there. Here's a bit from a mug that I've used before that are all stuck together. That's basically what the end product looks like. You can reuse that. Um, it's probably more than I need in this, this instance, but sure. So I'm gonna take that big chunk, drop it in the jug, swap hands with the camera, and uh, pour the boiling water into the jug. Sorry, into the mug. I don't think it actually has to be boiling. I think the instructions say it's only going to be 60 degrees or 80 degrees or something, but um, even though our kettle can do sort of five degree in increments, I'll um, leave it at uh, 100 just because it will bring it down uh, into a sort of a putty quicker. Next thing I want to point out with these um, Aquaforest Frag Rocks is um, the value. They come in a pack of 24, um, and these in Australia seem to retail for less than 20 bucks, which means for a giant size, frag they're less than a dollar each which is really good um this is the other frags that i use they're a uh, marine pure frag um sort of a golf tee type thing until i saw these these are the largest frags i've ever seen um so these are about twice the size of most other frags and then uh these ones are just gigantic so um i guess i'll give you an overview my uh, daughter's helping me today she's got guy diamond one of the trolls with us um this is my little fragging station here i just have a um, tub with some water underneath yeah. Um, and uh, just have some egg rack, uh, egg crate on the top, sorry, that I sit the tile on and um, while I glue the frag. So um, yeah, let's uh, get these packet of frag racks open and uh, see how they go. All right, so um, the, uh, the poly glue's been sitting in uh, coffee mug here for a minute and it's um, starting to get really soluble. Obviously the water's boiling, so don't just fish it out with your fingers, use a, a spoon or something. You can see, um, I'm not sure if you can see, it goes like all clear and uh, kind of like chewy. Um, that's exactly how you want it. You can squish it about and fit it wherever you need to. I'm just gonna sit that back in that hot water till we're 100% ready to go. If you just move your head there, Ruby, just come across a little bit. In uh, my frag station here, I've got um, a rock that I've pre-soaked. I just find that glue sticks to them a little bit better if you pre-soak them. And uh, a pretty chunky sized Dallas frag. I figured if we're going to use a um, plug this big, I may as well put a decent sized frag on it because uh, putting a little, this little one centimeter nib on the end would look a bit silly. So um, all I'm going to do is grab this, this putty. I'm going to make a little circle around, uh, sort of Daddy, make a little disc. Daddy, it's tricky when you make circles with it is a little bit tricky, that's right, mate. Yeah, so I've just stuck it onto the um, frag rock there. I'm gonna stick my little finger in there just to um, make a little hole in the middle. I'm gonna put the uh, frag in there and then just squish it around there just to hold it in place. I've used probably an excessive amount of uh, poly glue, but why not? Now that'll That'll set pretty soon, but that's what our frag's gonna look like. It's a big frag, it's a big weighted rock. Um, it'll hold it up nice and neatly. I might just tilt it back a little bit just because this branch was originally like that. So the back side of it hasn't seen a lot of light. So just to help promote the side that um, has seen the most light. Just gonna tilt it back a little bit. <laughs> to be honest, it wants to stand upright. And if it wants to stand upright, I'd probably be silly to um, argue it. So. Uh, there's that. I might even sit it back in the water just to help it set. That's it. That's as easy as it is to use that stuff. There's no, um, there's no glue. My fingers aren't stuck together. Um, I don't have to try and hold things in place for a few seconds until they set or, or use a super glue spray or anything like that. Um, if I don't like the way the glue's stuck, I can take it off, put it back in the hot water, reuse it again. It's really pretty simple. Um, these frag rocks, th these are a beast. They're huge. Have a feel how heavy they are, Ruby. Whoa, they're very heavy. Very heavy, aren't they? Yeah, they're compared very, to... very, very light too. What about this one? Is that one heavy? No. No, that's a different frag rack. It's not very big, is it? This one's... Try that one again. Is that one heavy? Yes, it's heavy. 
Yeah. yeah. So if you've got like a high flow SPF system and you're putting frags in your tank and um, you just want to sit them down on the base or somewhere in high flow, these are going to hold them down. Nothing's going to blow these around. They're pretty good. And now if I take um, the frag rock back out again, it might be difficult to see on camera. I'll try and bring it up a bit closer. But, um, Dad, you just got me. It's not clear anymore. It's set white. That's what it looks like once it's set. And um, <laughs> yeah, that's my daughter's face. And that's what that frag's going to look like when you sit it in the tank. So, Daddy, um, you just shaked your hand in me. Oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, we must be careful. Yeah. That is a good point to bring up, though, Ruby, is that um, these frag rocks and this glue is really safe. Um, it, it's a food grade polymer. Um, it doesn't matter if you're fragging or any little ones. Obviously, you still need to be careful with the corals. Um, you don't want to be squeezing uh, palytoxin or something near anyone, or especially yourself and your family. But um, yeah, see, it's set now, it's hard. Yeah. But uh, the glue itself is really safe. Just watch out for the hot water. Um, doesn't stick to your fingers, doesn't stick to the packaging or the mug or the plastic or give you another five layers of skin that's simple to use. And um, yeah, let's go put this back in the tank. Thanks for watching.